Now, there are good movies with Batman in them, and then there are good movies about Batman. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for The Batman, the newest film in the DC whatever is going on, written and directed by Matt Reeves and someone else. In short, I am very impressed with this movie. The first thing I noticed within the first five minutes of this movie is that the atmosphere is goddamn near on perfect. This movie will probably do for modern day fans of Batman that the Tim Burton films did for people of that generation and even the animated series. From using the neon gothic architecture in the UK, I always wondered why they were shooting there. You will see that there was a very clear purpose to it, to taking a lot of the notes from the Joker film in terms of just having sh trash and shit everywhere, making Gotham look like a complete fucking hellhole. The waste, the homelessness, the dilapidated and abandoned construction uh, concrete jobs, to the fear. The fear of Batman is so well done in this film, everyone. The film starts with a subtle narration, which, holy shit, narrations in a Batman movie, only oh, been waiting forever for those, and it shows all these people doing criminal activity and whatnot, and then the symbol goes up in the sky, and everyone starts looking in the dark shadows and the areas they cannot see. Michael Gonacchino, apologies if I just butchered his name, score rises and the fear not only is portrayed on the characters and the criminals, but it's in you. <laughs> It helps build the whole atmosphere of this film. 10 out of 10 for the atmosphere, let alone. And then there's Pattinson. Pattinson does a great job as Batman and Bruce Wayne. This is an ulterior version to what we've seen in previous iterations. And I actually really like this one. I like where he goes with it. I like that brood. I like that tone to him. Another aspect that this movie does very well is it actually talks about why he is known as the world's greatest detective. His intuition, his ability to pick up things that no one else notices, it is a very, very faithful adaptation of this character. He's still this intimidating figure, like just from walking in the rain, which by the way, another bit of the atmosphere, it seems that every time it's nighttime in Gotham, it's a monsoon. Greg Frazier, DOP, is able to put everything into a real great facet in terms of this color dynamic, the grunginess, the dark, and clearly taking notes from the comics, which Matt Reeves also proves. There's directors who will take notes from comic books here and there. There'll be even some who will pretty much bring those pages to life on the screen like Zack Snyder would do. But Matt Reeves, you can see, reads comics, and he's trying to put in as many references as he can, and they're all subtle. And that's pretty incredible to say, considering I feel there's hundreds of them in this movie. Which, by the way, it's near on three hours long, and you will love every minute of it. There was a point where I did check my watch just once to see what time it was in terms of how long the film had gone. There had already been several action scenes, really high stakes, a bunch of cool twists, and some really engaging elements and it had only been an hour and a half. I wanted so much more from the movie and I was given it. There is so much fantastic effort put into this movie and it definitely pays off for not having any connection with the previous DC movies. That was definitely one of the smartest choices they could have made because it allowed Matt Reeves to make what he wanted to make. And what he makes is something that I dare say can rival The Dark Knight in different ways. If I were to compare the two, I feel that The Dark Knight definitely has much more grandiose uh, action set pieces, whereas The Batman is a better comic book movie. It definitely delves into what makes the Batman who he is. Rather than just making an overall really good movie, they're making an overall really good Batman movie. And they take references from all over the place, not just, say, the long Halloween or any of the kind of the late 90s era. They even dip into the New 52, which I was really impressed with. They took a lot of the good elements from that era, which 
it's crazy. I feel like no one remembers that anymore. But, and on top of that, you got Paul Dano doing probably the best iteration of the Riddler I've ever seen. I always liked the Riddler, but the problem is he is his own worst enemy. His hubris will always take him from being a really menacing villain to a joke. That doesn't also mean that you aren't going to laugh a little bit at Paul Dano's acting in certain places. Paul Dano is a very peculiar sort of person. He's definitely a little bit out there in terms of who he is personally, but I feel that his performance as the Riddler in this film is what's going to hook you. It's going to keep you invested. Zoe Kravitz is great as Catwoman. I feel her addition to the story fits in perfectly. It definitely takes a little bit of notes here and there from The Long Halloween. There is quite a bit, and her connection with Batman is very, very well done. Now you got Colin Farrell, who absolutely kills it as the penguin damn like fuck well, i knew he was gonna be good in this movie i didn't expect him to be that good well, i can definitely say i had high expectations for the batman and i can definitely say that i felt like those expectations were met maybe the ending of the film is a little bit different from what i expected but i'm not upset about it i'm actually quite surprised and i'm genuinely happily surprised by this direction it goes in the end i can definitely say then I am going to give the Batman a 7 out of 7. I am really happy with this movie, guys. I'm already going to be looking at seeing it again this Saturday or Sunday or wherever. I know I'm going to be seeing it multiple times. Those are my thoughts about this movie. What did you guys think? Would you guys like to see me do a spoiler video about it? Because there are a lot of bits that I, I had to keep on stopping myself from saying because there's so many moments in this movie that I really want to talk about with you guys. But let me go if you guys would like a spoiler review. Otherwise, though, if you like the video, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.